Hey guys, this is Albert from Schaefer Chevrolet. I'm going to do a walk around for our customer on our 2009 Chevrolet Tahoe LTZ. I'm just going to go through. He's coming from a ways away, so I want to go through and uh, point out any blemishes I may see on the vehicle. I'll also, go over a few features. Um, this thing's pretty loaded. It's got a lot of cool stuff on it. Um, but let's go ahead and start going in here on the front. Uh, looking on the hood, looking for scratches, dings, anything like that. Um, nothing crazy is jumping out of me. Got the grill. All right. And while we're here, let's check on the tires. We got a penny here. Let's see here, we got plenty, plenty of tread on the tires. There we go. Perfect. While we're here, let's go ahead and look at the windshield. I don't see any signs of uh, cracks, chips, anything on the windshield looks to be in good condition. I do see a scratch there on the body panel, it looks like. Alright, now we're going to the front driver's side, or excuse me, the driver's side. Door and body. It's pretty clear. A few hairline scratches here and there, but nothing uh, that you wouldn't expect to see on a 100,000 mile vehicle. Good tread. The tires here as well. Checking here in the back. No uh, condensation or anything like that in the tail light. That's usually pretty common. Back window looks good. Rinch, rear windshield wiper looks good as well. Let's see. Here you'll see the uh, camera for the backup camera, along with uh, the IR sensors that the LTZ has for. Uh, to give you a heads up when you're backing up, it'll give you an audible noise or warning, let you know that you're uh, getting close to something. Along with that, your 7 pin trailer connector um, that's where your uh, lights for the power for the lights of your trailer is going to go, as well as the integrated trailer brake that's on the vehicle um, as well. Again, it's an LTZ, it's pretty well equipped. We'll get more into that on the inside, you'll see more bells and whistles. Um, let's see here, it does look like we scrape something light here. There's no crack or anything in the body panel itself. Just looks like you got a nice little, uh, nice little scrape there. That's a downside to black. I like black vehicles myself, but um, they're uh, they're hard to keep clean. <laughs> they show uh, they show quite a bit of stuff. Let's see here. Tires look good as well. Another cool one this has is uh, blind spot, blind spot detection. If there's a vehicle in your blind spot, um, it's going to show in your uh, in your mirror there that's going to light up a yellow color. To give you a heads up that someone is there before you change lanes. Nice tires as well. All right, so walk around the outside. A few things here and there, nothing crazy. Uh, most importantly, no rust or anything that I've seen is starting to develop. Um, we'll see more here on the inside. Um, the first thing I noticed when you open the door here running board automatically comes out for you which is nice especially um, if you're a shorter person vertically challenged or you have some kids jumping in the back there a little bit easier for them to get up um, speaking of rust on the body anything like that um, this is one place I like to check that's a pretty common spot for rust to develop so while we're coming in here um, you know basic windows uh, powered windows locks mirrors up here you'll see the controls for the heated seats the driver memory and the air conditioned vented seats as well. Um, again, before we jump in, eight way powered seats do work, lumbar support as well. Nice leather seats. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Uh, go over basic features light controls, four wheel drive selector, dome light. Um, let's see, cruise control. Excuse me, that's your rear, rear windshield wiper. <laughs> um, used to the old fashioned ones. Uh, rear windshield wiper, front windshield wiper, and of course, uh, if you want to spray some fluid on there as well, and of course blinkers. Uh, this is what your speedo or cluster looks like. No check engine lights on. Right now it's sitting at 99,522 miles. Brisk 21 degrees outside. Exterior uh, temperature gauge and compass there as well. Here in the front you got your horn, uh, cruise control settings, Bluetooth control as well, along with your volume settings for the radio right there on the steering wheel for safety and keep your eyes on the road. Let's turn that back down. Radio does work along with your navigation view there as well. Clock, climate controls, dual zone. 
power adjustable pedals. This one here is going to turn off your parking sensors I pointed out there in the back. Turn off your traction control. And uh, this should turn off your uh, your blind zone detection. No, along with some charging ports as well. Got some extra storage space in here. Um, condition wise, I'm not seeing any rips or tears in the leather. Although the leather looks pretty well maintained. And here as well you're going to see your uh, wireless headphones and remote for the DVD player which are located here over the driver's shoulder. Along with that obviously your sunroof here nice and bright um, with your controls for that are up here. Another cool feature that this has is uh, these seat controls for the second row so you can turn the move the seats get that focus a little bit better without having to jump out and move so we'll go ahead and press uh, this button here it's going to drop the seat and then it's going to lift it up for you so do uh, give you a little bit easier access to that third row and so on so basic rundown of uh, the interior here uh, looks like the passenger does have heated and air conditioned seats as well um, just for uh, just to be thorough, we're going to run out and take a look here through the pad, the, excuse me, the rear back seat. And uh, you can manually move these seats as well. But uh, just to take a look, the condition of the inside, looks like you do have heated seats in the second row as well, along with the rear climate control. So um, actually a tri-zone, tri-zone climate controlled vehicle. This is what your third row looks like room for three passengers. Um, these seats, the nice thing about these uh, seats back here, they are completely removable and I'll show you quickly how to do that as well. But just a quick look at the inside. Alright. Now, let's pop this up. You have an automatic lift tailgate, which is a nice handful of groceries or handful of stuff that's gonna help you out, definitely. So, now that we're over the third row, a few different things to do. Uh, first thing you're going to do is hit this lever, and then there is another lever right here. And that's going to lift it up, and then you just lift the whole seat in and out, and you have some extra storage space there in the back. Oops. And then shut this. And you're all set. Again, this is Albert from Schaefer Chevrolet. Um, just a quick walk around in our 2009 Chevrolet Tahoe. Um, for a customer who's coming from a ways away, I like to be thorough, point out uh, what I can see. Hopefully, um, hopefully the video wasn't too blurry the whole time. My phone's kind of getting a little outdated. <laughs> but uh, like I said, this is Albert from Schaefer Chevrolet. Thanks for watching. If you do have any questions, give us a call here, 989-879-2211. Uh, Again, 989-879-2211. Thanks again.